Hey everybody, Sean from Silicon Theory here, and October has been a crazy month for smartphones. As you've already seen, we've had our Pixel 3 unboxing, we had our iPhone XS Max unboxing, and now, the LG V40 ThinQ. So let's get to it. First off, I want to give a big shout to LG and their marketing affiliates for providing us with this review unit. The review unit is the T-Mobile variant uh, in black, I believe. So let's go ahead and see what's inside. Got the LG branded cleaning cloth. As you can see, the LG V30 ThinQ sports a Penta camera or five camera lens uh, module, audio tuned by Meridian, a 6.4 inch OLED full vision display, and the hotkey button on the side will trigger the Google Assistant for those of you that are interested. So go ahead and give that a quick look. You can see got the power lock switch here on the side. We've got the volume rocker and the aforementioned Google Assistant key there. Put that off to the side for the moment. We've got Google, or excuse me, we've got LG's um, peace of mind card indicating that you get two years of warranty coverage, which is always nice. This more than likely is our documentation, which I will promptly mangle when trying to open. And you get your SIM tool, and yeah, all of your regulatory garbage. So we will put that off to the side too. You've got your LG fast charger. Uh, again, one of my favorite things is if you're gonna come uh, through USB-A to charge, do it off the sides, you plug it into the wall. Actually makes a much cleaner charging experience. And then your uh, charging cable, which does sport USB-C which the G7 ThinQ device did as well. So nothing left else inside the box. No headphones this time, which kind of a bummer, but you know, a lot of folks are eliminating the headphones these days. So not too much of a loss. Go ahead, pack all that stuff back inside so we can do what you all came to see, which is peel some plastic. So, let's get this out of the way. There you have the device itself, which is very nice. It's got a good weight in hand. It's got the two cameras. They're on the front, very similar to the uh, Pixel 3, which we unboxed recently. And uh, you got the three camera, triple camera module assembly there on the back. Fingerprint sensor there on the rear as well. The uh, V30 ThinQ branding you can see there also. So let's, uh, let's fire this up, see what we got. I don't have a SIM activated, so see uh, what LG's launch display is looking like. See if the battery's even got a charge. Got a little vibration, yep. Sure enough, there we go. Powered by Android. <laughs> the very lovely T-Mobile launch sound. So as you can see, this device, much like the G7, also has a notched front display. And, uh, oh good, we have about 52% of the battery there to start off with, which is kind of nice. But also has the ability to mask it very much like the G7. And speaking of the G7, we've got one yonder for comparison's sake. So you can kind of see the V40, if I can get it in the frame, V40 is a little bit taller and uh, maybe a smidge wider there. The same uh, button configurations and uh, a little bit different color, the black instead of the silver. So, um, but very nice uh, looking OLED panel so far as it differs from the LCD panel here on the G7. So that will do it for the unboxing. If you have any questions about the LG V40 ThinQ, make sure you drop them below in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. 
And as always, you can check out all of our content over at silicontheory.com. Follow us on social. We are at Silicon Theory on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And you can subscribe to the channel using the link in the corner that looks like our logo. Thanks for watching. And remember, as always, we will talk tech soon.